What the hell is going on here? What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're going to be covering today is an attack that we have not seen in a very long time, upwards of I'd say a year since it was actually part of the meta and the attack I'm talking about is HGHB. What is HGHB? In case you've been living under a rock, that's the healers, giants, hogs and bowler attack and we're going to be showing you guys a few different replays some where things go right and a couple replays where some things go wrong but they all have the same result which is a three star and i'm going to ask you guys the question has hghb returned can it squeeze its way into the current meta of the game right now where town hall nine is let's go ahead and find out all right, so for our very first example, uh, what what the couple replays I'm going to be showing you guys is from a friendly war, our weekly friendly war that we have against Clantonimo Bay leading up to our CWL matches. And this Town Hall 9 right here, this is a current meta Town Hall 9. You guys will see, notice the wizard towers are away from the air defenses, really trying to prevent an air attack. And that's where something like HGHB is going to be wrecking and dominating these new... Uh, these new meta Town Hall 9 base layouts. Another thing that's really important why we're seeing that th this attack is more viable than it was before, a couple reasons. Number one, we don't see ground skellies as much at Town Hall 9 as we used to. Again, because 9s are always trying to defend the air attack. So the skellies are always placed on air. And the other thing that makes this attack more powerful than it was before is the hog buff. Remember guys, or not so much the hog, well yeah, hogs did get a buff at Town Hall 9, they do have a little bit more uh, damage and HP, but more so the giant bomb nerf guys. Remember, when HGHB was a thing, the bombs were still, were still dealing the double damage to hogs, which they no longer do anymore. You have to keep this in mind uh, before you rub this off and just think that, uh, you know, Riggs and the guys over in FFS have completely lost their minds. I'm telling you, Give it a try in these FCs. You'll see Paul right here just completely wrecked this base. Uh, you see he's got that heel on the back end, set up a really nice funnel. And that's the other key strategy. I guess this is a little mini attack strategy video as well. Is as long as you can funnel your healer, I mean funnel your healers. As long as you can funnel your heroes and the bowlers into the base, giants are already going to head in. And, it is, and there's a compartment large enough to do it. I'm telling you, this attack is going to be wrecking bases. We've seen it in these friendly wars. I have a couple replays to show you guys in random wars that we've had during the week, uh, random matchups, and a few examples in FCs. So I got a little bit of everything to cover for you guys. Good job to Paul uh, showing us that HGHB might be back in the meta. So we'll go ahead and check out a few more replays. So here we have Richie going to be going up against... Z uh, Zaraki Kempachi, aka ZK. And again, you'll see these bases. Um, notice the air defenses are all offset. All the air defenses are kind of crammed on one side. So, what does that mean for HGHB? That means your healers aren't going to be eating any black bombs. A another thing to consider, in case you guys forgot, or in case you guys have actually not seen this attack if you're watching, this attack was so powerful. This attack was so strong, it made it all the way to Supercell, and Supercell ended up, I'm sure there's a couple other reasons, but Supercell ended up um, nerfing the healers. Because remember, before, uh, when this attack was a thing, when this attack was actually a thing, the healers would not target air traps as they do now. So that's just one thing to consider uh, when you guys are seeing these attacks and again with those offset air defenses that we are seeing so much at Town Hall 9 in the current meta it just makes it to where you do not have to worry about losing any healers to air defenses so you'll see also down um, in the spell comp that Richie's bringing along a little different we're really used to seeing two heals and two rages 
but Richie kind of turned that on its head. He brought three rages and a jump just to really have a nice path for his heroes and for his giants into the core of the base. And he's going really, really surgical. If you guys watch the replay on this, he's not going real heavy on the hogs. Um, you know, like we used to see or that we saw in the first example, he was just trickling in as the kill squad was making its way into the core of the base and the defenses on the outer ring were targeting his kill squad, his main group in the core. He would just drop a couple hogs on each defense, just kind of going clockwise around the base and ended up completely wrecking it. As you guys see, the last defense to go down is going to be that wizard tower right there. Just has a mortar and notice he still has his king ability. And his queen is still at full health, just ended up completely wrecking this base. So good job to Richie. Again, we've been practicing it a lot in FCs, and, and we're all very surprised. More so me, you know, I was trying to bribe some guys to do it, and they ended up trying this attack out. And it's the same attack that we used to see back then. And it's tripling bases. Guys are like, what the hell is going on here? So this right here, this is a really common base. Not, I mean, I would say the layout's common. Richie makes all of his own bases. Um, but it's a really uh, common layout as, as far as where the air de how the air defenses are laid out. Just kind of that long, you know, just kind of a long base layout. And you would think a base like this you wouldn't hit with HGHB because of the funnel. Uh, it'd be really hard to get your troops to, you know, more so your heroes and your bowlers most importantly funneled into these style compartments like this where they're just two defenses wide you know about you know five tile wide uh compartments but you'll see he's able to get the job done drop the queen kind of off to the far right and she funneled the right side and he had a pair of wizards just funneling the, the bottom left side and was able to set the perfect funnel look at that all heroes, all bowlers, all of his giants, everything making its way into the core. Healers still at full health right here. Notice he's, uh, Paul's dropping hogs on each side of the base uh, as the kill squad makes their way into the core. And half the base is gone, but you'll see he still has two heal spells for his hogs, guys. Still has two heal spells. Goes ahead and drops the first one as they're making their way to the expo right there. Again, I don't even think he's lost a bowler yet. Goes ahead and drops his last heal, his second and last heal um, on that wizard tower and where that Tesla was over on the upper left-hand side. And there's only a few defenses left. Still has a wizard he just dropped for cleanup, and his Archer Queen ability is still in the bag. Didn't even have to use his AQ ability. Nothing but trash left up. So Paul really taking this uh, attack and running with it. He has been doing very well. And um, just like that, I mean, on a base where you wouldn't think you'd be able to funnel in those bowlers uh, with just one finger dropping those giants, and he showed us that you can, in fact, create a really nice funnel dropping the queen off on the upper right-hand side, really trimming that side, really brought it. At any rate, now we're going to go ahead and check out, this was Paul's, we saw his first hit. Now we're going to check out, so the first uh, three attacks you guys saw, the attacks went according to plan. Bowlers funneled in heroes funneled in everything was set up very nicely now let's take a look at what happens with this attack when things don't go quite according to plan so this is paul's second hit um, of this war taking on cash out crews in our friendly war against cb so you already see his heroes are both going to be walking was not able to funnel the upper right hand side king is in front of the queen which is a good thing so she's staying at full health notice when he dropped his bowlers they ended up they ended up targeting that wizard tower over on the bottom left. So we'll go ahead and check out exactly what's going to happen here. So so far we have heroes walking on the right side, bowlers walking on the left. Does have his giants right into the core of the base. Still has 14 hogs and two heal spells. He did drop those first two rages on his giants as they were making their way into the base. And if you check out what is left just take a look at what's left he does still have one expo and does still have a couple wizard towers but again on this base it was offset air defenses so a lot of the point defense and splash defenses were on his entry he was able to eliminate all that it just so happened when his heroes were walking and you'll see that this was actually a cleanup his first hit that was fresh this was a cleanup so we did know that there were those three to uh 
three troll Teslas down at six o'clock where he dropped his hogs, dropped a heel on him, dropped the second heel as the hogs made their way to those last defenses, taking out that expo. And technically the last defense to go down was that uh, troll Tesla over there at three o'clock. So I was able to get the job done. Guys, Rewatch that if you don't believe what you see. Heroes walked and bowlers walk still ended up getting the three star. Complete madness. Okay, now we're gonna have my main man. You guys know him. Poor self control. Uh, this was the war that we had against Crystal Warrior that wrapped up just a couple days ago. So he's gonna be taking on this base and notice these base designs are are all kind of different, all unique in their own way. But again, what we're seeing is, though I can't say it enough, those offset air defenses. So he tried to get that mortar with that loon. Did not quite work out. Air Sweeper pushed it back. So he wasn't able to drop his giants exactly where he wanted them to. He wanted to drop the giants a little lower. Had to kind of think on the fly here. Uh, he did get a nice funnel set as far as the town hall. Uh, just trying to get that set. But the DE storage right at 3 o'clock didn't go down. So when he dropped his bowlers, they end up walking around the base. So again, on this attack, we have a king walking around up on the top. We got bowlers walking around on the bottom. I mean, just taking out just a couple of trash buildings. Didn't even get... Yeah, they did not even take out that last Tesla down there at the bottom. But you'll see... He did have one bowler make it inside the base. Goes ahead and drops down a rage. He did bring three rage and one heal on this attack. He does have giants right in the core. Uh, They're doing a good job tanking for his queen, which he does still have the ability for. And his queen is still at full health. Just trickling hogs over on the bottom right-hand side. And you'll notice as the hogs are trimming those defenses... The Giants can no longer see them once they're down, and they just keep pushing right through that core. So he's got Giants beating on one wall, Queen beating on the other. Uh, he's going to go ahead and pop his King's Iron Fist ability, going to take out that Mortar, and he drops a Poison on the Queen, but he is not going to be able to take out that Queen, the enemy Queen, with his BK. So you'll see right there, Queen ends up beating through the wall, Giants reroute, so they're tanking everything. That poison spell is still on that enemy AQ, which was very nice. Just dropping in a few hogs on these air defenses and this cannon over here at 9 o'clock. And if you take a look, there's really only a few point defenses left. Only has just a few cannons. But he's going to drop that heal. It's going to be covering them. The giants are still tanking those cannons for his archer queen still has the ability that he hasn't even used on them. All spells are gone at this point. But look, all the only defense left is that cannon right there, which the hogs are going to get to with no problem. They're going to meet up with the queen. The hogs are going to just do a couple hits on the BK. He's down. Nothing but clean up. Again, bowlers walked and king walked and was still able to get that three star. I don't know. You, you guys tell me what you think. All right, guys, well, that is going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed uh, the content in this one, taking a little trip down memory lane, watching HGHB. I never, th I never thought we'd see this attack again. I'm not going to lie, but lo and behold, we saw how HGHB looks when it goes right. We saw how HGA HGHB looks when it goes wrong, yet it all ended the same in a three-star. And I'm curious what you guys think. Were these attacks lucky? Were they flukes? Is the attack still OP? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say, your, your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. So make sure you do that. Like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.